Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to Hands That Cook. Today we're going to roast um, cauliflower head. And I'm going to use, this is a serving spoon. I'm going to put two of these in here. I, I didn't tell Sam to get a big head of cabbage, so he got a small head. So, we'll just have to make do. I'm going to put two of those in. And... get the rest of this out. And one, one of these of Dijon mustard. Woo! And get that out. I shook it too. I don't know why it's so loose. Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem like enough. Come on. Well, y'all. There. That seems like enough. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Not much. A little bit of pepper. I like pepper, so <laughs> it might be, seem like more than a little bit to you. I'm going to stir this together. Let me taste it. Then I'm going to put about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use fresh grated or in the bottle like I did. Mmm. I washed my cabbage and I pulled all the green leaves off of it as much as I could. I'm going to get a small yeah small um Skillet, or you can use a whatever's oven proof, y'all. And I'm going to spread this all over this cabbage. That's why you need a pretty good amount of it. <coughs> well, since I was expecting a larger head of cabbage, I was going to bake it for about 40 minutes. I don't know how long this one will take. Mm. 
probably not that long. Get some of this off this pan. Well, I'm going to put this in a 350 degree oven and I'm going to bake it. <clears throat> well, I'm going to start with 30 minutes because this is so small. Whoop, whoop. There we go. And I'm going to put it in the center of the oven. Oh. And then I'll bring you that. Let me wash my hands off. Oh. I'll bring y'all back when I get it out. Y'all, my cauliflower's done. And I wish I could tell you how long I cooked it. Because I like my vegetables soft. And um, 30 minutes wasn't enough. It was over an hour for this little one. And it is soft. Just like I like it. See there? Oh my goodness. Looks good. I'm going to give it a taste here. It just came out of the oven. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is so good, y'all. If you're a cauliflower lover, you're going to love this. Mm. One thing I recommend is um, to cut the stem off more than I did so it'll stand up better. And put a little water in the bottom of your pan. because some of this falls off and you don't want it to stick to your pan. Well, I guess I told you to preheat your oven to 350. I put a little piece of foil over the top of mine so it wouldn't burn um, about 45 minutes in. So Count on an hour at least if you like yours, um, don't like it soft, then, you know, keep testing it. I like mine soft. And I have a special request for all of you. My granddaughter's husband is in ICU at the University of Birmingham Hospital with COVID and he's bad. His, um, he was on a ventilator. They took him off. They had to put him back on because his oxygen went down to, into the 70s and he has holes in his lungs from caused by the COVID and they can't repair it because he's in such poor shape. So I'm asking all of you to please pray for him and put him on a prayer chain. Pray when two or more are gathered in my name. I'm in the midst of you. And the answer will be yes. So please pray for him. His name is Spencer. So I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, 
I'll put the recipe below in the show more section although it's real easy um, so that you can have this for a meal it's really good thank you for coming in today and spending time with me let me see if I can get in there we go so until next time you all take care and may God bless every one of you.